Good morning, grandkids. Merry Christmas and Happy Coming New Year's. Today's vlog, I'll be opening uh, a lot of uh, letters, cards, and uh, two boxes. So let's get started. I'm excited. This one comes from Florida. I don't know how many, this doesn't say that I can't read it or show it. They sent me a picture of the family. This is the Christmas card. Very cute. All things merry to you this season and all things bright in the coming year. Thank you for making the world a better place. Love, Lisa, Bruce, cannot read the middle girl's name and Fiona and this is their picture isn't that nice I really like that thank you so much and if one of you will leave me a comment and tell me your middle name that girl sitting in the middle I'm sure I'd appreciate it very much because I could not read that and I'm so sorry. But thank you. I love the picture. I do love getting pictures of the people that's on my channel. And uh, that just makes... I, I feel like every one of you is very personal to me anyway. But that just makes it even more personal. Because you see me and you know what I look like. And I love to see you also. This red card is from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. And it's from, well, let me read inside first. They might say, no show. <laughs> it doesn't say. It says, Chris Holm, Chris, Chris Holm. Friends are life's best presents. I think that's nice. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Grandma Shirley. <laughs> Gorn, Gorn, Guanji. Angel Stephen. Tardic Gnome. Is that your online names? <laughs> because it's usually online names that I can't read. But the last name, name is Chris Holm. Thank you so very much. And it's so pretty. I didn't show you the card. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. This one, oh my god. Oh, this one is from a great great niece I forget if it's two greats or three greats now but she is a descendant from my oldest brother who passed away a few years ago and uh, I never knew of her existence before until I think just during this last year she corresponded with me told me who she was and how she was related to me so We've corresponded. The time that we haven't corresponded is my fault because I'm very lax at taking care of mail. I'm so sorry. She's in Fort Wayne, Indiana, which is where I lived and grew up and for years and years. Look at her beautiful card. Shirley, wishing you all the joys and blessings of a beautiful Christmas season. And she wrote, I am so glad that you and I were able to find each other. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for teaching me about my great, great, my great grandpa, one great, Ishmael. I was so happy to learn about him and his family. I also wanted to say that I think it's really amazing that you are a gamer. <laughs> I hope your holiday season and new year are filled with love and peace. 
Stephanie. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I'm so glad that we got connected too because uh, other than my mom and dad and my brothers and sisters, I didn't uh, have any other connection with any of my relatives. So to know that I have a great, great niece is very nice and very welcome. And I appreciate you getting in contact with me. And believe me, I will be getting more in contact with you. <gasps> I'm so dilatory. This is from David and Eileen or Arlene O'Brien from Spokane, Washington. I have a son and his family who lives in Spokane. In fact, I visited there in September when I went to the uh, PAX West gaming convention and visited my family while I was there. Oh, this is beautiful. This is, this is like velvet out here, suede or something. It looks blue in there, but it's purple here. Very pretty. It looks like Eileen and David. We enjoy watching your videos so much. I really loved your Sangria the Avenger vampire series. Vampires are a vet favorite of mine, and I loved that series. We hope you have a lovely Christmas, Eileen and David. Or Arlene. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. Um, I did that vampire series because I had never, all this time that I've been playing Skyrim, never played as a vampire. And I thought, well, shoot. Ooh, I got glitter stuff all over my desk. I'm going to try a vampire and see what I can do with it. So I hope that it was a good one. This one is from, first I thought it was from France, but I think it's, it says the UK. Oh, how cute. Look at this sacked out kitty cat. That's a Khajiit. <laughs> this person knows I love Khajiits. Oh, wow. I got to see if they say anywhere. Dear Grandma Shirley, I recently found your channel and I've really been enjoying your content, especially uh, the chats and the mail videos. <laughs> I used to be a pretty big gamer until five years ago when my uncle died very suddenly. Well, that's sad. We used to game a lot together. Aww. And after he died, I lost interest in gaming Skyrim was one of his favorite games, and watching you play it has inspired me to get my console out and get back into the world. I want to thank you for that. I'm so glad. Everybody should be playing Skyrim, I think. <laughs> so whenever anybody tells me that I've inspired them to start playing it again or to play it for the first time, that makes me really happy. I thought you might like the card with the baby Khajiit on its day off. That's so sweet. Yes, I do. It's darling. I wish they had baby Khajiits in the game. I got, oh, I have two cats myself, Florence and Mog. They are mother and baby. I got Florence from a rescue center and later found out she was deaf and pregnant. She's a funny little cat. I also have some fish, a giant African land snail. Ooh, I'd like to see a picture of all that. The snail called Mary. 
and three baby tarantulas. I've called one Shirley. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I have a tarantula named for me. I'm scared to death of tarantulas, but that's okay if you name one Shirley. <laughs> How funny. I would love to see pictures of all of them. Anyway, I just wanted to send you a card to show my appreciation. I hope you have a lovely Christmas and New Year. With love, I was going to say Allie, but in parentheses she's got pronounced like Haley, but without the H. Ailey. Very cool. And from Florence Mog, Mary, the fish and the spider. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really, I'd love to see a picture of them. And she, and she, and she drew little bitty spiders down there. How cute is that? Thank you. I gotta keep that little Khajiit in its hammock sitting out where I can see it. I love that. <laughs> And my, this one is from jo Joseph Green. I hope you all remember who Joseph is because he's the young man that uh, came here to do that last interview with me. His mail is so festive. Look at this. All this pretty stationery. Very nice, Joseph. Dear Shirley, I never know how to start these. I want to wish you and your family a most blessed holiday season full of love and happiness. Your 2019 is set up to become something magical with everything the gaming community is doing for you. Yeah, I know what all you're referring to. Thank you, Joseph. I'm blessed you're taking me along for the ride. I was so happy to meet you during our interview, and I look forward to seeing, setting up a meeting we talked about. Sending you so much love this Christmas, and may the gods watch over your battles, friend. With love, Joseph. Thank you so much. You know how much I appreciate you. We talk a lot. And these two boxes are from Joseph. And there's a little paper in the clothes. This says, Merry Christmas, Shirley, and enjoy the moon sugar straight from elsewhere, Joseph. Moon sugar, I got some moon sugar. <laughs> Look, here's the moon sugar. And the other jar is fire salts. Of course, they're for the bath. Isn't that clever? These are from a company called Wonderment Bath. And it, and it says on their, on their uh, company information, moon sugar, Bath scrub, bath sugar scrub, Skyrim inspired. So their company makes Skyrim inspired thing. This is sold through its Etsy. Etsy. How cute is that? And I am supposed to be sure and let. Uh, where's my info? Here. A girl there that put this stuff in the mail for Joseph, her name is Joy. I wanted to give her a shout out because she's the one that helped Joseph and 
went out of her way to expedite this order so that it would get to me on time. So thank you, Joy, very much. I appreciate it a lot. And the second box Oh, this is from the American Iron Blacksmith Shop. This is from Joseph also. It's sold through Etsy. Merry Christmas, Shirley. Don't let the guards catch you with this. Now this is from an iron manufacturing company, mind you. Look at this. Isn't that clever? That is a lock pick straight out of Skyrim. And uh, American Iron Information says a Skyrim lock pick. So they make stuff related to Skyrim. Isn't that clever? I love these companies that make things for Skyrim. Thank you, Joseph, so much. This is this is going to go in that uh, display case that you made for me, for sure. That is so cool. That's so cool that they would make something like that. Okay, guys, that's my mail for today. I There was something else that was coming from someone, but it didn't make it time for this vlog. I'm sorry. Uh, so it'll be in the next vlog whenever I make one. Now what I wanted to tell you is, oh, and I wanted to make a special Merry Christmas to James Fuller and to his mother. And you will know who you are and why. I appreciate you very much. Tell your mom I said hello. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's to both of you. Now I wanted to say something that uh, you may be disappointed, but I know that you all back me in whatever I do or try to do or need to do. And whenever I've not been on for a little bit, you always tell me that that's okay and that you understand and that you just want me to make sure I take care of myself and that you'll be here when I'm here. So. This is to tell you that I'm going to take two weeks off now, after the new year, for myself. I need it very badly. I need to work on quilts. They're piling up that I've made and never finished. And I need to do laundry. I need to clean house. My books are stacking up and I need to read them. <laughs> so. I'm going to take two weeks off. I'll be watching my uh, email and Twitter, but um, I just won't be putting up any videos. Also, during that two weeks, I'm going to be thinking about stories on here. Uh, I know everybody likes Garrett and the Dead Eye Gang, and uh, they don't really do all that much. I never wanted him to do all that much because I didn't want him to join anything. I don't want him to be the Dragonborn or anything like that. I just wanted to play with him around on the map. And I have loved Inigo. I really do. And the next time I play a character that's going to have a follower, it's always going to be Amigo. But sometime during this coming year, when I decide to uh, end the story of Garrett, uh, 
I'm going to be thinking about which game I want to, what story I want to tell next. And I have a couple in mind that I want to start with next, but I don't know which one. I want to do a little female Khajiit thief. So she can't really have a sidekick because they always get in the way. And the main thing about her story is going to be the fact that she had been raised by her grandmother and and when her grandmother died she left the Khajiit caravan and is out on her own. But her grandma in spirit is always with her and she loved her grandma and her grandma had raised her and loved her. Well, whenever uh, my little Khajiit needs comfort or advice or something. Besides me talking for her, I'm going to be talking for her grandmother. I'm going to be her grandmother. So when she has a feeling that, that her grandma is near, she's going to say, Grandma, I need you, or, or are you there? Or something I'm going to say. I'm here, child. So, so that's how that story will be worked. Uh, I don't know if she'll have a particular objective in the story or not. The other story I want to do is a mountain man. And he wears furs and he has a big beard and he's an older uh, Nord, I think. And he is just going to be traveling around in the snow and the cold in the mountains all around the outer parts of Skyrim. He will very seldom go into the middle parts of Skyrim unless he just wants to go into uh, Whiterun to buy and sell. And he probably won't do that very often on camera. But he's going to be getting into things that's in the snowy mountain ranges around White Run, and I don't an an old mountain man. I don't think he should have a follower either, unless it would be. I don't I don't know how he would do. How to make a story with him with a sidekick. Uh, uh, maybe it could be his son or his grandson that's with him or something. But really, I wanted to, him to be a lone mountain man, older. That's that's maybe his wife is dead and his family's gone and he's just alone and getting old and just wants to roam around by himself. So. I'm going to do one or the other of those, and I don't know which one to do first. So, think about those two different story types, and let me know in the comments what you think about them, and whether you like either one of them or not, and uh, which one you might like the best. Okay? And let me see. Is that all I had to say? Yes, that's all that I had to say. So, I think I have a couple more videos that's coming up, but uh, after the New Year's, I won't be posting anymore for two weeks. If I was to decide to make it <laughs> three weeks, I'll let you know. But until then, for right now, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I, I hope you get nice gifts and I hope you have a lot of fun. Drink some eggnog, stay warm, be with your families, and enjoy the season. Thank you. You have all been so good to me, and I appreciate all of you so much. You made my life pretty enjoyable. So, thank you so much. Bye-bye for now. See ya.